Module 1 study guide, problem 11. Max has $90 in the bank. Every time he rides the bus, he spends $250, right? And solve an equation that he can use to see how many times he can ride the bus. Okay? So he has $90. Every time he rides the bus, he spends $2.50. So $250x. So let's solve that. 2.4. 5x equals 90. So we need to divide 2.5 on each side. These will cancel. x equals. Now you could solve this any way you wanted. 2.5 divide 90 by 2.5. I'd probably make this 25 and make this 900. So 900 divided by 25. 25 goes into 93 times. 75 minus and get 15. Bring down the zero. And 25 goes into 150 six times. 25 times six is 150. So how many times can you ride the bus? 36. You need both of those on the answer line though because you need to write and solve. Write and solve. So both of those have to be there for credit. 12. Tim bought a video game console and some games. For 350 the video game console costs $200. Each game costs $25. How many games did he purchase? So you only buy one console, hopefully. So $200. Then he's going to buy some games that cost $25 each. The total is $350. So how many games did he purchase? We don't need to write the equation here because it doesn't say write and solve. We're just going to uh, write it on our scrap paper and solve it there. First thing we need to do is balance bar. Now subtract 200. This will create a zero pair. Subtract 200 over here. Bring everything down. 25x equals 150. Divide each side by 25 to get the variable by itself. And x equals 150 divided by 25 is 6 so he purchased 6 games now you can read this problem and kind of check yourself because uh, you know that you have to get a whole number you can't buy four and a half games um, or maybe you can I don't know but in terms of this problem uh, it has to be a whole number Allison bought some shirts for her clothing store for $15 each she received $50 off her entire purchase and spent a total of 400. How many shirts did she purchase? So she bought them for 15 each. So she was buying some, some shirts. Each shirt is $15. We don't know how many. Now here's the important thing. It's a little different than what we've been doing in the sense that we normally have been adding all study guide here after she buys the, buys the shirts, she receives $50 off. So she buys the shirts, and it's going to be $50 less. So subtract 50. And then there's the total of 400. Now we add these. Or I'm sorry, now we solve. First thing we'll do is add 50 to both sides. Bring everything down. 15x equals 450. Divide by 15. Divide by 15. x equals 15 goes into 45 three times. So 45, we could cover up the zero. 45 divided by 15 is 3. Throw the zero back in. x equals 30. So 30 shirts. 
again, we needed to get a whole number because you're not going to buy half of a shirt. 14. Jane has six more than half the number of pairs of shoes that Mercedes has. Write an expression for this. This is not telling us to solve, we're just writing the expression. Six more than half the shoes that Mercedes has. So six more. So you're having a number and you're adding six. Half the number that Mercedes has. So half of the number that Mercedes has. M for Mercedes, or you could have put an X. So half of whatever Mercedes has, Jane has six more. So there's the expression. 15. Kelly has four dimes and some nickels. Total value is $2.25. Write an equation for this. So it's just telling us to write an equation. So she has some four dimes. So that value is um, a dime is 10 cents. So 0.4 or 0.40, 40 cents. And some nickels. Each nickel is five cents. We don't know how many, so we put an X. The total value is two dollars and twenty-five cents. And that's it for that problem because it's not saying to solve, it just wants an equation. Sixteen. Time to solve. Zero point two five X equals ten. Divide 0 0.25 on both sides. And x equals 10 divided by 0 0.25 is 40. So 16 is 40.